Silly so I'm playing some more Nova Drift. And I'm going to keep trying to burn this place to the ground. Or not. Maybe just the galaxy. Uh, da, 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 da. Sure. We'll probably hit in power, but until then. Until then. <laughs> not my intention, but you know what? It worked. Can't complain about success. I do like this new entrance. It's not a huge change, but it's just a little nice touch. Especially when it makes my missiles all miss, apparently. Yep, they keep trying. And the enemy keeps dodging. That's okay. Uh-oh, you have a gravity manipulator out. I am considering saving up for Ataraxia. Could be useful. More mines. Now well, that's fine, you can go start over there. Let me run to the other side. Not so much you. Oh, these things. Rather annoying. Let's get busy on other things, shall we? Hmm. I am probably going to take several wild mods. That's a no. Ah, I want both of these. In fact, I want all four of these. All right, we'll give it a try. On one hand, nice. On the other hand, startling. <laughs> uh, I want both of these. Guess I'll take the shield durability first. Start with the added burn damage. 
And we'll go from there. And there's our good friend Omega, new and improved. Though I think as long as we don't run ourselves into the beam, we should be okay. My only real critique with Omega is I wish this little expansion happened maybe a touch earlier. I can see why you wouldn't want to do that, but it makes it a little bit confusing when you're already inside the ring to try to maneuver. Alright. I want both of these. Start with the concentrated. Oh, screen, you're making me go cross eyed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll take the corrosion. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I get close to the edge there. Ah oh, well, it's okay. We survived. Everyone survived. You're happy. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. Happy. Don't really need that, do we? Volto shields could be nice, but let's get this deadly wake. I like that look. I have to destroy it, but I like it. Ah, uh, reflexive shields, fine. Juggernaut with mines. What a day. What a world. Do I want the channeling or the purification? I want both eventually, as long as I get down to core shielding, we'll be okay. Meant to fire those on the other side, but you know what? It worked. Blink, you say? Thinking about the kinetic boost instead, but it is tempting. Maybe I'll get that later. Maybe. Hello, Scion. It's kind of rude of you. Sometimes I don't feel like I understand exactly where Scion's lance actually hits. Maybe one day. Almost. Uh, 
I do want the rupture and I also want the purification. We are going for deflagration here. This is definitely going to be trying out several different things together and see how they work. You're a tanky one. Alright, chase me. There we are. Mm, hidden power. I think I can still keep the deflagration, right? I think. Still need to find the purge. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Yep, there's the purge. They're not too bad as long as you're just far, far away from them when they explode. Easy, right? Well, that answers the question. In case you're unfamiliar, I guess I should. Destroying a burning enemy will consume any ignites and trigger deflagration. It creates a caustic nova that rolls over targets. I want to try this with Dying Star and see what in the world happens. Well, this is rather annoying. Singularity, are you here to steal my kill? I worked long and hard for this kill. Huh. Purification versus core shielding. I think I take the core shielding first. Wave seven zero. Hey, yep, just follow up, please. Thank you. Shielded enemies are a little bit more annoying. I miss the good old days when you did not have shields. At least nowhere near as effective shields. Huh, I don't want the streamline. Efficiency might be good. Adrenal module, volatile shields, Aegis. Hmm. Let's try the volatile shields. You just try to make yourself very unapproachable. Did you know this? Whoop. Problem solved. All right. There we are. Galvanic is tempting here. Won't lie, Galvanic is quite tempting. I had a cover comment, you didn't have to come help. I mean, I appreciate it, but you didn't have to. Oh, 
All right, war. What are you good for? Still nothing. What a surprise. Come back, shield. Thank you. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a little bit of an adventure. A little old trip down the memory lane. Okay, let's go look for some energized shields now. <laughs> well, I was going to say you missed Comet, but you know what? You hit what you intend to after all. It was me who was mistaken. I made the error. And I profusely apologize. Okay, was that the prettiest one in the world? No. Did it still kill the enemy? Yes. Was it a good idea? No. Would I do it again? Probably. I like purification. Get that burn damage. All the more absurd. Celestial Lance? Why not? Oh, that's a... That's a sight and a half. Several things I want here, but... Several things I want even more. Yeah, we can try the emergency systems. I'm debating the Omni Shield. I'm still debating the Omni Shield. Scion. Well, I was not expecting to see you this time around. Oh, it's a boost. Okay, boost. I need you to boost me a little bit, but not too much. Can we work on that? Oh, boy. There's a Dying Star, and there's three Energized Shields. Let's do the 3x Energized Shields. It does reduce my rate of fire, but oh wait, I don't have a weapon to fire. Never mind. Everything's fine. And Hello Seraph. Here's the part where I wish I had taken that blink.
All right, nothing incredibly horrible there, but still a little bit frustrating. <sighs> Adrenal module. The more damaged, the more damaged we are. Up to 50%. Aha. Uh -huh. Waiting the wings. Another chance of the dying star, and I think I take it. We're going to try this combination and see how well it works. Larger shield effect is not the worst idea in the world. Again, we could take the blink, but let's get that larger shield effect. Oh, what's that? You don't have anyone to shield. My, my, what a pity. What a pity. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. Hello again, Scion. Okay. Again, smartest move in the world? No. Fun to watch? Yes. Yes, it was. Hmm. Faster shield cooldown seems okay. Glad for that emergency system to help out. Attacking in both directions at once. That seems unfair. It seems quite unfair. Ah, uh, the burn damage will get you. Just takes time, but the burn damage will get you. shield providers. That's unfortunate. Scorching Wake is not the worst idea here. Orbs of Discord, I do have, what, five, six already. Or you could take the Omni Shield. Let's give it a try. Probably makes the emergency systems a bit of a bad pick, but you know what? I'm okay with that. It helped us survive one time. That's worth a point. And who knows, it's possible it might yet again. Hello, 
Seraph. Quite a fancy entrance you had there. for more max shields but slower shield cooldown. I do like that reduction, however. So we can't get any hit more than 25 damage. And our current shields are at 20... 238. And what's the cooldown again? Cooldown's at 5.36 seconds. I need to figure out a good way of knowing when this deflagration actually triggers and how to reliably trigger it. I do like some of these shapes with the new escorts. They're nice. Very much fitting for the game. More hull. I mean, it won't be much. Blink. Focus shields. Makes them smaller but more powerful. Eh, let's give it a try. See what it looks like. It does make it a little bit harder to keep up. But our extra cooldown does largely keep up. Barely. Alright, interesting, interesting. <laughs> I do enjoy that. I do indeed. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, da, da, da. What do I want from all this? Massachism? Galvanic? Ray yeah, Radiant Shields is good, and Defiance. This does lower max shields and cooldown a lot, though. Defiance is more self-damage resistance. With Dying Star, that is a welcome change. Hmm. Alright, we'll take the Defiance. Scion and Juggernaut. Truly, the best of all worlds. Just waiting for our shield to come back. Nope. This is kind of an awkward placement. Bonk. 
Singularity, you don't have a good sense of timing. Oh yeah, if you want, you can just go right there. Yep, yeah, just, there you go. You, on the other hand, had an excellent sense of timing. And I thank you for it. Oh, I tried. Seems to take forever for those shields to go down. I know it's not very long, but still, it feels that way. One, seven, zero. Bravado does increase our burn damage and self damage resistance. Solar Heart for more burn damage. Bonk. Hello, War. Uh, Comet War is up here to the north. Spiky enemy. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, juggernaut. Soon to be a shielded juggernaut, I'm afraid. So say so you have to die soon. Your health bar is just a sliver. Tiny little sliver. Side. Do I want it? I don't know if I want it. I think I'm fine with a smaller battlefield. Let's just take this blink. Let's just take the blink. Mm, as I say, shield. They already have a shield. You don't need to. You don't need to provide one. In fact, you can just go home now. Your work here is done. Go enjoy some family time. Easy enough. Oh, you're going to be an annoying one. I can already tell you're going to be one of my favorite enemies. Absolute favorite. Especially when you have an abnormal shield. That makes you even more favorite. Favorite or -er er of mine. Yeah, 
more the same, more the same. I get the message. I kind of want the radiant shields, I kind of don't. Stabilization down to strafe is not the worst idea in the world. Same for weaponized shields, but I was really hoping for some more energized shields, perhaps. Like so. What is my shield cooldown up to? 7.18 a second. Now that's not with any of the purification bonuses going, right? Okay, yeah. So purification is helping us out there a bit. careful. I'm going the wrong way around. Where are the rest of you? I know you're hiding, waiting to strike. And you were, you were. That's a lot of attacks. It's like a hybrid of a railgun with a deadly wake attached to it. A slower railgun with a deadly wake attached. Yeah, I think that's probably good summation. And it is annoying. All right, 200. Good old Scion and Seraph. Bestest of buds. Team to the end. Oops, I better be careful. I'm going to be the last one standing for this little matchup. But we did get some decent sized orb shields. Singularity, what are you doing here? Don't you see Seraphs here? That's always been Seraphs' show. Kind of hogging the spotlight. Seraph take damage from the black hole? I think so? Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Or maybe it's just the dying star. I think it was the singularity as well. But I could be wrong. For some reason, I was thinking Seraph did not. But it has been a while since. I've actually had the opportunity to watch Seraph dip into Scion Singularity. Just for an example. So I don't recall for certain. But give up all my levels, all my rerolls for five levels. I guess there's enough I could do that. If nothing else, I can just take all strength. Which I shall. Weaponized shield seems good. Armor, rebuke, transmorg, galvanic. Take the galvanic. Stabilization. And another energized shields. Okay, that was pretty good. Not incredible, but pretty good. What is our shield cooldown up to now? 7.38. Again, it is getting boosted by purification. So the more enemies we set on fire, the faster our shield cooldown goes. So that's probably closer to 8, but still. Every bit, we get helps. And it does make our orbs bigger when we're zipping about. Maelstrom plus the orb shields is fun. Both mechanically and 
just to watch. Things get spun around and pushed around by both the maelstrom and the orbs. It's just a nice little touch. Not even sure what that enemy was. that self damage. Ramps up very quickly there at the end. Far too quickly. Oh, you almost got them, Kami. You almost got them. One little, one little segment got the shield. Just that one. <laughs> Another level. <sighs> Conversion. Just to eke out a little bit more shield strength. Just a little. How much more? Barely any at all. Alright, good to know, good to know. I like that effect. I want a weapon that can do that. <laughs> Modders get on that. <laughs> it's a fun little effect. The oh, frame rate's dipping a little bit there. Nothing like invincible enemies. That's why I was saying this game needed more of invincible enemies. Yep, Blink does nothing to it. Can't get into the shield, can't do any damage. Seems to be perfectly invulnerable as long as that shield is up. Annoying, but not surprising. Two forty, who are you? Another energized shield? stuff on the screen at once. 
and it's about to get even busier. But of course. Bonk, 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 and a bonk. Lots of mites. Poor timing on my part there, but you know what? As long as we live, we'll be fine. That's a, that's a lot of attacks going on at once. Uh, do I want the agility or the galvanic? I think I want both. But which do I want more? Getting down to strife could be useful if I can get displacement. That would help our maneuverability, but galvanic is the safer choice in the short term. Just getting a little bit more shield effect power and a little bit more damage when I hit enemies is pretty good. Oh, it was level 50. I did not even realize it. Of course, once you take the evolutionary niche, you will get a few levels earlier than you would otherwise. So that makes sense. Orb shields are very good against these enemies, just pushing away or just flat out absorbing a lot of that damage. Not as good as Scions does, but they also rotate a little bit faster. So I guess that's a decent enough trade-off. Some mines, not so good, but you know what? Singularity, also not so good. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's gonna throw me right to that singularity. Everything's fine. You're fine. I'm fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Shields you can go down anytime you want. So I can actually attack these enemies. can tell we're getting to the higher levels when the mines don't instantly die from the dying star. They stick around a little bit too long because of how high their health is scaled. Not the best for us by any means. It means it's going to be that much more dangerous for us on this battlefield. I don't think I can take anything too slow us down. Don't know if I want anything else here though. Skirmish for more crash damage. I suppose spontaneous generation, a little bit more damage, a little bit of block, but nothing horribly exciting I don't think at this juncture. I guess if I did not have... ouch, ouch, ouch. I guess if I did not have 
the extra crash damage here, I would have taken that. But I did, so I did not. You are just adorably tiny. Little swarmlings, aren't you? They're so little. So cute. Look how little they are. I mean, the mothership is also just staying off screen so I can't really damage it, so that's a bit of an issue. Would you mind dying so that we can move on to the next wave? I'd really appreciate that. Okay, there we go. Well, maybe not. Just a random convoy, apparently. There we are. Together, that's the deal. Uh, I was wondering if they made some random asteroid invincible. <laughs> we will shield this asteroid. It will be your nemesis from henceforth. But no, they're just waiting for a normal enemy. How dull. Dully predictable. Predictably dull. <laughs> The deflagration really does take something which would happen anyway, but just speeds it up even further. Faster, faster, faster we go. When do we stop? Nobody knows. Except for me, because I do need to not kill myself from damage, and I do want to collect some of these experience orbs. Oh, these are going to be so annoying. Let's try not to kill ourselves. Maelstrom saving us from a lot of damage there. Okay, this might kill us. Shields are dead. Ah, I thought we could pull it off, but nope. Didn't quite make it there at the end. So close, so close. Not a bad score either, almost 1.8. Not too shabby. Not enough for a high score anymore, have to get up to a 1.8 for that, but you know what, I will happily take it. Fun to experiment with. Oh yeah, these new enemies are going to be quite interesting. I might try some more constructs next. I do want to see how one of my favorite combinations, the good old Guardian Turret, get along with these new enemies. I think these new invulnerable enemies are going to really, really make constructs significantly weaker than they used to be. But I want to test out and just see, see what happens. However, for now, I do thank you all for stopping by. 